It's time to s- Bitch, a tiller that track when I'm spilling that crack. My militia rate a villa, I'm a villain that's black. Back killing mass, still in my chilling backpack. Rap skill is past men's rap building. What's going on you guys? It is Barack Ojama, president of Duel Academy, here with I guess a whole bunch of news. I haven't made a video on this channel in like a month, but uh, I've been really busy along with a whole bunch of other stuff I've been trying to deal with. But uh, I guess I'll go with the big news first. I made it to round two of the next great Yugi tuber and honestly I'm losing right now but honestly it's all good I'm losing by uh, 50 points right now but uh, I'm gonna be completely straight with you guys I am a slacker and I was outdone I'm not really that competitive and that's where I fell and I'm gonna learn from it and probably try again next year on top of that I have some even bigger news for well for this channel anyway I finally got my hands on Sony Vegas 14 so this will be my last video using Windows Movie Maker. Also, probably in the next few days, well, throughout the week, I'll be uploading um, my submissions I use for the next great YouTuber and uploading them on this channel. So uh, yeah, look out for those. But now to jump in this video that is in question right now. Now this is my reversal quiz deck profile. The main thing to do in reversal quiz is take as much damage as possible before you actually activate reversal quiz. This deck is built to be very stally and it has a little bit of draw power. But um, I guess the main thing in this deck is that um, your opponent leads to his own demise, which I find that freaking hilarious. So anyway, I run three Lava Golems. You contribute monsters on your opponent's side that can really mess him up as far as him setting up with either XCs or Synchros or anything like that. And plus, doing a thousand points of damage is not too shabby, especially when you use Reversal Quiz. That can be an easy win right there with Lava Golem. Battle Fader, he is more like the shield of this deck. You do want to take a lot of damage in this duel, but you don't want to take too much on the point of losing So that's what battle fader is for to protect you when you have your back against the wall rainbow Karibo kind of serves the same purpose except in the form of a uh, Equip spell when your opponent attacks you directly or attacks you at all. It's like hey I got my uh, rainbow Karibo on deck. So um, yeah, you just play that if it gets removed from the field You can also use it as more defensive fodder special summon it from the grave in defense and you'll have another extra shield I run three Three Scarecrow, just more stally stuff, all that good, good stally stuff. Three Card Car, just extra draw power. If you haven't gotten Reversal Quiz in your hand yet, Card Car will lead you to that Reversal Quiz. I run two Curry Photon. Curry Photon is not only good for battle damage, but also effect damage, like a Wave Motion Cannon. It is super good, helped me out in a lot of situations. And it's probably one of the more powerful underused cards I see out there. But uh, its purpose is super awesome in this deck. So I love Curry Futon and what it brings to the table in this deck. Solar Flare Dragon does nice decent burn damage. And if you have two Solar Flare Dragon, this card cannot be basically destroyed. Except by card effect. And with 1500 attack, it's fairly decent. Upstart Goblin, I mean come on now, it's Upstart Goblin. One Day of Peace, another good stall card. You draw a card, it's a plus one. Can't go wrong. Three reversal quiz. Reversal quiz, the most important card in your deck. Your sole purpose to win this game is to lay down reversal quiz. If you don't have reversal quiz, you're in trouble. Now, if you don't know what reversal quiz actually does, it flip flops your life points with your opponent. You send your entire hand and all the cards on your side of the field to the graveyard. So that's honestly crazy. So not only that, you have to draw a card and call the type, whether it be spell, trap, or monster. You think about it like this, it's like, oh, there's only a one out of three chance of me getting this, or depending on how many different cards they have in your deck. But let me tell you something, they have ways to where you can get this right 100% of the time. Which leads me to Pigeon Holding Book of Spell, which reads, look at the top three cards of your deck, then return them to the top of the deck in any order. Any order. So you know the order of the cards and what they actually do. So if I have Solar Flare Dragon and as my third card, I can put it as my first. So I know I have a monster on the top of my deck when I activate Reversal Quiz. You can't lose like that. I run two Pot of Duality, helps me search for uh, any support cards or Reversal Quiz or Lava Golems or anything like that. Poison of the Old Man, I use Poison of the Old Man to keep me above a thousand points. I can also use it if I um, use Reversal Quiz and my opponent is under a thousand life points. I can just use Burn Damage 
and basically just take them out but a majority of the time I'm using it to heal myself if I get underwater in that regard I run two feather of the Phoenix feather of the Phoenix is basically almost the same as pigeon holding book of spell except you discard a card select one card from your graveyard put it at the top of your deck so as far as that it's it's um not the same but almost the same as pigeon holding book of spell as far as its usage with a uh, reversal quiz I run one swords of revealing light because I like to stall I run two hope for escape mostly because I want our life points to be so different like if he has 8,000 I want to have 2,000 and if it really does get that much of a difference I can draw a lot of cards so that's exactly what I'm looking for I run three Wapaku. It's not only uh, an old card, but it's probably one of the most stronger cards uh, as far as trap cards. It's basically like you, you can't get a touch for that turn, which is awesome. I run one Solemn Warning just in case you never know what's going to pop out. If there's just something that will just nuke the field, I can just Solemn Warning it. And uh, I, I'll be nice and crisp and uh, safe. And I wrap this up with uh, two Gravity Bind. Gravity Bind, also a Stally card. Um, it's not the best card considering they have so many other type of uh, monsters. Now that they have XCs, they are not level monsters, they are ranked, which is totally different and Gravity Bind can't hurt them at all. It still does cover a lot, so Gravity Bind does get the job done, not quite as much as it should, but it does get it done. And with all of that, um, that is my deck profile for Reversal Quiz. So if you guys have any other questions, I have the download link in the description. And also, uh, any other questions, comment them. I'll make sure to look at them. And uh, anyway, you guys, I'm Barack Ojama, and I'm out. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Adios.